Good evening, I'm Lee Anderson. The Deschutes County Commissioner's public hearing we told you about earlier on psilocybin was extended into an evening session. Kelsey McGee continues our coverage from this evening. Kelsey? Lee, Measure 109 was passed by Oregon voters in November 2020. At this afternoon's public hearing, there was plenty of support for psilocybin and opposition to a possible ban in the rural county. Tonight, that support continued. More than a dozen people who testified at Wednesday's hearing expressed support for psilocybin for mental health and explained how it has helped their lives. Because of the treatment, I was completely revolutionized in every aspect. So having that available here in Deschutes County with all the people suffering from it, you know, an unincorporated Deschutes County, it's like I don't have to leave my home. When I think about anxiety, depression, uh, all the other health challenges that are skyrocketing uh, really across the board, but including within our county and our communities. Um, we need to have all the tools in the toolbox as possible uh, to help. And we need to provide access to all of those tools to as many as we can uh, within our communities. Um, those tools have uh, provided me with uh, a lot of health benefits. Under the measure approved by Oregon voters, cities and counties allowed to opt out of regulated psilocybin if their voters agree. Kevin Shaw, a Bend resident, explained that the controversy over marijuana grows shouldn't impact this program or decision. It's unfortunate that the marijuana industry got here first because I think that has left a bad taste uh, in our mouths. I mean, you drive down the road and you smell the, you know, you smell it. And it's just, you know, we looked at buying property and decided not to because we were worried that they're going to be growing pot over there. And it just was not a good experience. But this is different. Many people spoke in favor of the drug's benefits, though the decision facing the county is not about its benefits, but whether voters should be asked to opt out because the state is not finished setting rules for the program. County commissioners say they will keep the record open, to, open until 8 a.m. Monday morning for submissions. The commissioners will deliberate on how to proceed at their next meeting on Wednesday. Lee, back to you.